Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, May 26th. The time is 2.36 p.m. and the temperature is around 17 degrees Celsius. And I'm here, not in the city of Toronto, but in the former town and now city of Pickering. And this here is Bailey Street. And for this one, I'm gonna head into the Pickering Go Station on the left and we'll explore this station and go for a walk along what the Guinness Book of Records has deemed to be the longest enclosed pedestrian crossing in the world. And there's a surface parking lot right next to a rather large enclosed parking structure and there you can see levels five four and three are full there's 295 spots on level two and 142 spots on level one and strangely i do believe this is free parking aka subsidized parking And there's Pickeringo. That's a suburban commuter rail station. And I just took a train from Union Station in downtown Toronto out this way. It took around 40 minutes. So if you live out here in the burbs, this is your best way to get downtown. There's where you could enter the parking structure. And this station opened up back in 1967. And it's the sixth busiest GO station in the network. And I think it serves around 1.1 million riders per year. And I think the bus terminals are just over here. I've never actually been here before. And there's about 2,500 parking spots spread out over three surface lots and that large parking structure. And I think that was built about nine years ago or so. And we are in Durham region. And here you could catch one of nine different Durham buses or three different GO buses. At least I thought here's where you'd catch the buses. There's some bicycle parking. Someone's parked their e-bike in there. There goes a GO train passing through. And there should be one rolling in in about seven minutes. That would be the one from Toronto. And here's what looks to be some secured bicycle parking. That's good to see, although this facility doesn't appear to be operational yet. No one's using it. And here's an old or GO platform. I think is not currently being used. And there's a look at the pedestrian crossing. And before you enter the fair paid zone, you're supposed to tap your Presto card there. I think a ride to Toronto will cost you about $7.90. And here's the main station building. There's ticket booths. Looks like there's a cafe that's not open and a small convenience store that is also not open. 
probably due to the pandemic we just went through. I guess traveling numbers are way down. There are washrooms here, although that is a driver's washroom. There's another entrance to platform three. And fortunately, it's an accessible station. And we found at least the GO bus bays. So what I could do is head up the tunnel there. But then we'd miss out on this first part of the enclosed elevated pedestrian walkway. I think a train will be rolling in in about four minutes. So let's see if I can get over to the platform to take that in. Might as well take a quick look at the car park since we're here. Ta-da! I don't know why everyone's parking on the upper levels. Or I guess that actually would make sense since it's closer to that elevated pedestrian crossing you have to get on anyways. So we want to head up to four here. any buses pulling through here. That is Highway 401 just off in the distance. And this bridge goes over 14 lanes of highway. And conveniently it connects to Pickering Town Center, a large shopping mall just on the other side. This station has around 9,000 boardings per day. And it serves the Lakeshore East Go Line. There's the Go Train rolling in. That would have been the eastbound Lakeshore GO train. Now they do have the western section of the platform closed off due to construction. So the trains are waiting here a little bit longer than normal. Let's see if I can get down there and we'll check out the platform while the GO train is still here. What I'll do is I'll take the elevator back up. These people are probably thinking I'm running to catch the train, but the joke's on them, I am not. There you can see some of the fencing that blocks off the platform in that direction. So if you are traveling to Pickering, you do need to be on one of these Eastern carriages. Although you can move through the train, so it's really not a big deal. I 
there's a number of people taking the elevator, so we'll have a little bit of time to kill down here in the platform. There it goes. So this is the fourth last stop. I think Oshawa being the last one. From Union, there is Danforth, then Scarborough, Eglinton, Guildwood, Rouge Hill, Pickering, followed by Ajax, Whitby, and Oshawa. And I think the train rolling in the other direction will be here pretty soon. And there's a look at the pedestrian crossing. So those folks will be heading into the city of Toronto, or at least towards Toronto. Actually, I think the next stop from here is in Scarborough, so they will be heading into Toronto. Access to station building, Pickering Parkway, parking structure, and platforms one and three. So this station was built in 1967 and the shopping mall across the street was built five years later or it opened five years later. But there was no link over Highway 401. There is a eastern facing look. There's some Presto machines here where you can top off your card and tap in or off your ride. There's a look to the west. And there's a parallel rail corridor right next to this one. And here we go. The world's longest enclosed pedestrian crossing. It is spanning 250 meters and 14 lanes of highway. And Highway 401 is North America's busiest highway. Well, I think initially this neat kind of aluminum skin wasn't wrapping around the pedestrian crossing. That was added a few years later. I think maybe in 2015 or 16. It's certainly hard to miss if you're traveling on the 401. It looks kind of neat. Hey, we can take in some Canadian history on this sign. Who needs to know when the next GO train arrivals are? And this thing lights up at night. Apparently there's over 300 LEDs in it. Thought we get a clearer view here. Some light weekday afternoon traffic on the 401. The 
There's the westbound traffic heading into the city. And over there is the Center for Canadian Nuclear Sustainability. That's interesting. There is a nuclear power plant here in Pickering. And I found where the Durham buses are. There's a map of the different buses from the station. And it looks like this office complex over here has its own elevated walkway leading right into it. And there's a neat view of what we just crossed. And a look at Pickering Town Center. There's some of these Durham buses, the 103, the 110, the 111. And the 916 would be your options. And apparently, this area is what you would call downtown Pickering or the Pickering City Center. And if you want to get to the mall, you got to traverse a large parking lot here. I think this could maybe be better connected or they could at least have a formal pedestrian walkway. If you're going to center your city around a shopping mall, it should be nicely integrated with everything else. And although I'm tempted to head into the mall and record a video, I think I'm just going to stay out here and end this one. I'm going to fire up a live stream where I walk around Pickering and I have no idea what to expect. On that note, I hope you enjoyed this walk around Pickering Ghost Station. It's a rather unique structure. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below and if you wish to see more of this sort of thing, stay tuned to the channel because I think this is something I'll keep doing. I also recorded my GO train ride that started at Union Station in downtown Toronto and headed out this way. So you should be able to find that on the channel if it's not up already. I'll see if I can remember to link it in the description. And if you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there's now a super thanks button appearing beneath each of these videos. There goes a bus off to meander through suburbia. Let's not kid ourselves, that's exactly where we are. I'm just curious, is there even a sidewalk here?
to connect this space to the mall. I think that's the Pickering City Hall off in the distance. All right, so it's not terrible, I guess. And there goes a westbound GO train into the station. All right, thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.